Prayer is what fuels your spirit. Prayer is a spiritual activity. It doesn't have much on your body. Prayer has less impact on your natural body. And that's why the struggle to pray is actually an expression of the human body. Because the body doesn't want to pray. The body is heavy. The body doesn't want you to pray. But the spirit desires to pray. He said the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. So when it comes to prayer, prayer is a desire of the spirit man. It, it, it is spirit. It, it is an expression of the spirit. But the body doesn't want to. But the spirit needs the obedience, alignment, and commitment of the body to find the expression in the realm of prayer. So that's why whatever the spirit succeeds to achieve, it will definitely rub off on the body. And whatever success that the body achieves, it will also benefit the spirit. And if the body is reckless and live recklessly, and then is damned or goes into sickness or disease, then the spirit cannot pray any longer. Because once your body is under a certain chronic disease, the spirit cannot pray anymore. So that's why we must understand the fate of God for the body, the fate of God for your mental health, and the fate of God for your spiritual health. So to keep the fire of God burning in the consciousness of your body, requires that you mind your nutrition. You exercise. The Bible says, exercise profits little. Take that little benefit. Exercise. Run. Run. Run.